Hey, I'm Steph from Heru Apps. Welcome to my tutorial. Um, today's tutorial is called Visual CD. This is a, a program that will allow you to catalog your pictures, documents, videos, and keep a database so you know exactly where your files are. Um, let me just jump right into the demo. Um, you can get the, I'll have a link at the bottom of the post. Uh, you can actually click and download the program. It's a free program. And then once it's installed, um, what you do is you click uh, File and then New. Now, what you're going to do is now for this demo, I'm going to show you how to catalog pictures, but it'll be the, it would be the same for videos and files. So I'm going to browse where my files are and I'm going to pick uh, pictures and my pictures and I'm going to just going to pick some album art for the time being now uh, you can say you save the catalog by default and that'll be the name of the the uh, this particular session each, each every time you add pictures it's going to save a new uh, catalog um, so what you're going to do is you're going to name it the way you want I'm going to leave it as the, as the default and that's the label that's going to show up in the program here. So I'm going to leave that like this and I'm going to click OK. So, uh, well, I've already tried that before, so I'm just going to replace it. All right. So these are the, um, the, the pictures I've got in that folder. So if you want to see what the pictures are like, um, what you're going to have to do is um, you're going to go to actually something that I forgot to mention. Now, if you want to have icons displayed, um, you have to go to Options, uh, Configuration, and in the Catalog tab, um, you're going to pick the files you want to archive. Now, these are all the kinds of archives like zip files, MP3, um, and, and pictures, and so on. And at the bottom here, you can see Thumbnail. Now, if you want to have Thumbnail displayed in the program, you have to check these boxes. So I've checked pictures and videos, and I've clicked OK. And um, now I'm going to go to the view, and I'm going to select thumbnails. So every time I click on, let's say I'm going to click on Elvis, and there's a picture of Elvis, um, and there's a picture of the cult, and, and so on. So once you're done this, what you want to do is you add to favorites. Uh, and I'm going to show you later how that works, but uh, for, for the time being, just click favorite and click OK. Now it's been added to the the, uh, the favorites. Next I'm gonna add something new to this alright I'm just going to um, add new and I'm gonna browse a different location. Now, let's say <coughs> excuse me I'm gonna browse through files um, that are on my uh, USB key so I'm gonna insert my USB key And I'm going to point to it. Just going to browse again here. All right. So I'm going to select Pics on my USB key, and uh, this one I'm going to change the label. I'm going to say uh, Pics on USB drive. Now you want to be very uh, specific about this description because that's going to actually uh, give you an indication of where those pictures or documents are stored. So if you got let's say hundreds of CDs or, or different locations you can say let's say pics on CD number one or pics on CD number two. So when you actually view your library you'll know exactly which CD to look you know for your pictures. That's the whole point of this program. So I'm gonna click OK. It scans it. I'm gonna say yes. And there you go. Those are the pics on my USB drive. So uh, what I'm going to do, don't forget this, um, you got to add to favorites. And um, I'm going to click OK again. And uh, OK, it already exists because I, I, I did this uh, before. So, all right. Now, um, the way it works now, uh, let's say I'm going to remove my USB key from my computer. It is now gone, and um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to close the program, and let's say you're, you know, you're just uh, coming back another day, and then you open the program, and uh, clicking on favorites, oops, uh, 
over right here, that little tab, favorites. Now you can see I've got my two uh, different, <coughs> excuse me, two two libraries that I've created. I've got the uh, Lexar 64 Pix, which is the description, Pix on USB drive. Um, I double click that and it shows me the pictures, the thumbnails, uh, but my USB key is not inserted, which is you know very nice because you can bring that to friends or you can bring that to work and you'll always see those thumbnails and if I click obviously it says the path is invalid because the the disk is not inserted but at least it, you know that these files are on that disk and if I click on local disk and let's say I click on Elvis and now if I double click that one it's gonna show up because it knows that the, the files are still there um, Anyway, I hope you find this uh, useful. I do that for actually my whole uh, library, and it's very, very useful, especially if you store files at different locations. And uh, thank you for watching today. If you want more tutorials, uh, feel free to visit my website at www.heruapps.com. Thanks for watching.